What's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about Kartra, which is a new fully automated business uh, development platform for creating online courses and affiliate programs for your online training products or any kind of digital products that you might be selling. Um, it also has some really cool features that a lot of other business automation tools don't have, like an internal help desk for your business so you can actually support your customers through billing or um, any other type of uh, support that they need. If you're running maybe a consulting program, you could actually consult your clients through the um, internal ticketing system that it has. So it has a built-in help desk. It has um, a lot of really cool features that I haven't seen in other business automation tools that I think will be super helpful for you. Um, one of the really cool features is there's a built-in affiliate program um, that's kind of an internal program where you can join other people's affiliate programs and then any products that you make, any uh, digital training products that you make, you can actually create an affiliate program and anyone else that uses Kartra can have access to your affiliate program and you'll be promoted inside of their um, affiliate network. So there's a lot of really cool features in addition to um, landing page optimization, uh, A-B split testing, um, conversion tracking, lead source tracking. There's just a lot of really cool features with it. And um, it's, it's kind of an all-in-one tool, so you don't really have to use anything else if you don't want to. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna do a quick screencast here and just kind of walk through it a little bit with you guys in my test account and show you some of the great features of it. Uh, hope you like it. All right, guys, so here we are inside of the Kartra dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and go over it a little bit and just kind of a quick walkthrough just so you can get an idea what's in here. Um, this is just a test account, so there's really no data in here other than a few little tests that I've done, but I just wanted to show you what it was all about. So once you log in, you've got your dashboard here, and it kind of gives you an overview of um, you know your, your progress. Um, you've got your sales, your subscriptions, um, the recent broadcasts you've made, some of your traffic and conversion information. Um, and it's pretty cool. It shows you all the different, uh, you know, your video watches and things of that nature, form submissions. Um, and then you've also got your help desk um, information here, which is kind of unique to Kartra. Most of the uh, business automation tools that are out there don't really include a help desk option. They, a lot of them integrate with other help desk solutions like Zendesk and things, but they don't really have their own built-in uh, support center or support solution. So this is really a cool feature. Um, on the left hand side here, you'll see you've got your main menu for all the different um, features of the Kartra software. And then um, you'll see on the right side here, you've got some um, little bit of tabs that, that show up here. And basically, every time you add one of the done for you campaigns, then it adds a tab for the particular um, done for you campaign that you've added so that you can show you the percentage that you have completed of setting that up. For example, this is the four day cash machine. Um, here's a quick launch funnel, another quick launch funnel. So that those are there present as you add uh, from the done for you campaign. So if you click on this, it gives you a list of all the done for you campaigns that are available. And um, I'm assuming they're gonna be adding to these, but um, you know, the four day cash machine is here. Um, you can see any of these you can click on and just go ahead and create um, the campaign and it'll add it to you, add it to your Kartra for you. So if you were to click on um, Hello one, fellow tell, Kartra you a little bit about it and then you can go ahead and, and use this to import the campaign. So for example, if I do this list builder one, um, I can choose a little a, a bit of information there. I can enter my, my name for my campaign and it'll go ahead and, and set that up for me. So, and then it tells me, gives me some information on, on how to get it completed. So it's pretty cool. It gives, um, if you're not, you know, super familiar with doing online marketing, you can use some of these done for you campaigns and, and get uh, started pretty quickly. So just going through, um, you click on the logo here, you've got your dashboard and then going to the product section, you can see here, you can go ahead and add all your digital products in um, to, to Kartra. So some of these were ones that were just created automatically by those um, done for you campaigns. So you can come in and go ahead and edit your pricing, add your you know upsells and things of that nature. Um, you'll see you've got tracking, which allows you to use um, special links that you can create so that you can get metrics on um, the exact link that you're um, using. So if you if you wanted to um, track from a, a click in a newsletter or out on an ad somewhere or something along those lines, you can, you can actually uh, do that. Say if you purchased a link in someone else's newsletter, you can actually um, create a link, a tracking link, and then use that specific link in your marketing to go ahead and track sales and you'll get an actual 
revenue generation from that link. Um, you can create coupons for your products just like you would if you were using a, a storefront tool like WooCommerce or Shopify or something like that. You can go ahead and create coupons which you can give to your customers and uh, let them get discounts on your products. You can come in here and you can create uh, sales tax for different areas of the world. So you can see here you've got um, the, the whole map of the world and you can set up sales tax for each uh, area and then assign that tax to um, your different products. So you can go ahead and collect sales tax if you need to, depending on what you're selling in the area of the world that you're in. There's also a neat feature that they just recently added um, as of this tutorial that's, that's a self-billing um, system and it allows your customers to actually log in and update their billing information um, and update their credit card so um, you, they can log in here and, and locate you put in their email and their order ID and it'll let you um, you know brand this so you can actually brand it to be to, to match your business and, and your brand and then people can um, log in and you can allow them to download their invoices update their credit cards uh, allow refund transactions um, allow them to cancel uh, subscriptions uh, so they, they can um, you know self cancel and get and turn off their subscription if they purchased one so it's really it's really a, a helpful um, tool for for managing billing for your customers um, as far as affiliate programs you can come in and set up um, an affiliate program for any of your products and you can come in here and manage your affiliates there's an area for managing your affiliates and um, you can come in and create, you know, edit your settings here so you can see whether, you know, your affiliate program would require an approval or not. Um, if you want to set up PayPal instant payments, so once somebody makes a sale, one of your affiliates makes a sale, you can actually give them a commission in real time. Uh, product specific versus account wide, so you can, you can assign your affiliate program to specific products or make it for so that your affiliates can market any of your products. You can set different settings like how many amount of sales they need to have before they get a payout, uh, terms and conditions they have to agree to. Um, if you want to require the 1099 before they get paid out, and it actually will, uh, I'm sorry, W9, so it will actually collect the tax forms that are necessary here in the U.S. and depending on where in the world you are, um, and things of that nature. You can also set up, you know, special questions for your affiliates when they sign up to get more information. Um, then you can come in and, and manage your payments and, and download a payment history if you want to do payments that way and, and view your payments if you're paying outside of the system here. Um, in analytics, you can come in and, and view your um, analytic data for your, your sales. So you can come in here and see exactly what sales have happened, um, what, if there is, it's recurring, of, um, how many rebills, the conversion rate, the profits per click refunds there's just a ton of information here and it scrolls to the right here so you can see your chargebacks um, and then your total profit so it gives you a really detailed information on um, what your what your revenue looks like and up here in the graph you can you can change this from total to sales to rebills um, so you can look at you know what what uh, the different st statistic is that you might want to look at you're also able to switch between products so you can choose like which product you could choose a specific one and then uh, only see statistics for that particular product if that's what you wanted to do. You can also come in and view your affiliate uh, statistics. You can see sales based on affiliates. So that's really cool. Very similar layout to the uh, overall sales statistics. And then individual transactions. This would show a list of all your um, transactions for your um, all your products. And this is you can set you know a time frame here. And then you can go through and view all the different uh, sales that have happened and, the, and what, how much they are and, and uh, the rebills and things of that nature. So under campaigns, you've got an email marketing tool, much like uh, most of the tools out there, like um, similar, similar things like you might have heard of Infusionsoft or you might have heard of Entreport or other uh, active campaign, things of that nature um, that you allow you to do email marketing and automated email marketing. And that's what this is all about here. So you can come in and you can um, set up your lists. So you can create email lists just like you would um, in, in most marketing software, uh, email marketing software. So you can c c organize your customers based on um, you know things they've purchased or actions they've taken through your marketing funnels and, and campaigns. Leads here uh, shows you a list of all your leads that are available, uh, that have people that have signed up 
um, through your funnels or filled out your web forms, things of that nature. Um, so you'll have all your leads available and you can come in and, and look at the specific uh, customers and, and see um, you know how much money that they, you, they've spent with you, uh, their score if you're doing lead scoring, you can assign tags. Um, and then you can kind of go through their, their profile here and see what lists they're on, um, the communications that they've received, the sequences they're in, memberships to, their, to the different membership levels that they have, um, their recent transactions, a log of everything that they've done or every uh, bit, bit of um, email that was sent or what, what's happened. And then you can also see any of their help desk entries um, if they've opened any tickets in any of the help desk um, areas here in your uh, Kartra. If you go to tags, then you can also create tags and organize your uh, marketing efforts based on tag or assign tags and then start or stop campaigns based on uh, tags. So just, just like a lot of the automation tools that are out there, you can use tags to um, you know, really control and, and fine tune your marketing. You can also set up different categories for your tags as well. So it's super powerful. Um, under campaigns, you can set up broadcasts just like you would um, in most email marketing tools. You can come in and just create a broadcast, um, enter a name, select a category if you want, and then go ahead and create the broadcast. And that'll let you, um, step by step, uh, let you choose whether it's an email broadcast or an SMS broadcast. And then go through, choose your recipients, enter your message, choose any automations, and then send it or schedule it. Sequences, these are basically um, series of, of marketing steps or um, different, different series of emails or, or actions that are, that are going to take place for different products that you're trying to sell. So different marketing sequences. Um, you can see that when you set up a lot of these done for you campaigns, they include a sequence. And so you can actually um, you know, come in and edit the sequence as you need to for your specific marketing efforts and you'll see here it'll load the sequence builder and you'll see you can set up the sequence it's a step-by-step -step sequence process and then you can um, you know over here you have your control so send an email send an S SMS add or remove a tag unsubscribe from a list subscribe from uh, unsubscribe from a sequence automations set up a split wait timers lots of different features but really really powerful um, and you can come in here and you can just you know view view these different things what's going to happen it explains when you when you click on this and then you can go ahead and edit your individual messages as needed so it's really really powerful uh, builder and you can use that to to set up your different marketing automations and uh, our marketing sequences and then over here we have automations in this area, you'll be able to set up kind of if-then rules for your lists and um, you know your products. So, for example, here, if a customer buys a specific product at a, at any price, then unsubscribe them from this sequence. So, for example, if you had a sequence that was leading up to a purchase, once somebody opts in, they fill out the form, it starts to uh, send them emails, and then once they make the purchase, you unsubscribe them from a sequence, and then you might subscribe them to a different sequence, so maybe a follow-up one or a fulfillment sequence. So it's really powerful stuff, let you do all the automations that you would need to do. This is the done for you campaigns. If you've, uh, at the beginning of this tutorial, um, when this review, when I went through, you could see that there was uh, done for you campaigns and this is kind of another way to get to those. These are one of the ones that are controlling these tabs over here, your progress. So then when we go over here, we have analytics. Um, we can view our list analytics um, for our campaign in our campaign section here. So we can see um, how many subscriptions we've had, um, the different the revenue that's been generated by each list. So if you click on, for example, this is one of the done for you lists, the four day cash machine buyers. So you can see how many active leads, how many subscriptions, how many unsubscribes, the total revenue, uh, your goals, and uh, each subscriber value, things of that nature. So you can actually know what's happening with your list and what, what's performing the best. 
in your broadcasts. These are the, the one-off broadcasts that you created back here in, in broadcast. When you send a one-off message, you can, you can actually get statistics for that specific message and see exactly how that message performed or how many uh, sales it generated, how many opens, clicks, things, things of that nature, and how much revenue per recipient. So some really powerful metrics to let you um, really know what's happening in your business and, and what's working in your marketing. Sequences, these are, again, these are just the sequences that you have set up over here, but these are an, um, analytics for the sequences. So you can see, you know, which sequences are, um, you know, doing the best for you and which ones are generating the most sales and, and, and getting you closer to your, your sales goals. Under My Pages, if you come here, this is a full page builder, so you can create landing pages, um, you know, any kind of uh, form that you might want to set up for collecting information. Um, you can create sales pages, any kind of page that you might need to uh, build out your sales process and your sales funnels, you can create here in, in My Pages. And you can um, see that you can come in here and any page that you might have built, um, you can just go ahead and get the link for it. So um, if you want to get the page link, you just come in here and you can click on that. And then you can go ahead and view the page, for example. This is just a, a template, but you can see here that you've got a nice converting uh, page and uh, that's done for you. And you can come in and just make some basic edits on that page as you need to. Collect um, f form data if you want to have people sign up for your um, different lists or and then add them to sequences. You can do that using these this page builder. So you can see there's um, all different kinds of pages here, but you can also view um, them by clicking on this. You'll see right here in the middle it says connecting to secure payment server. This is where your order form would show up. Um, it doesn't there because it's just giving you a preview. But again, you do the same thing. You can get the code here and then you could uh, go ahead and view this in a new tab. So once it loads here, then it'll actually set up the order form. So there you go. You can see the order form is now available. And you can also publish these pages on your own server so um, or website. If you're using like a WordPress website, so moving you can a little further the here into the pages and area, there's also split uh, testing. Code. So you, you can, can actually create any, any uh, split tests for your pages. You so if you want to download test files, one page like versus HTML another, you can actually do that. And then you'll get statistics showing which page actually got you the most sales and uh, based on your, your conversion ratios. And so that's a real powerful way to monitor your uh, success with a different page. Uh, you may be surprised a lot of times the more simplistic pages um, get better sales than, than really highly graphical pages. So this lets you see which ones are working best for your business. If you go here to analytics you can actually view the uh, different statistics for each page. So you can see um, your conversion rates and, and things for a specific um, page and how, how much of your uh, revenue is being generated by each page. So it's a great metric. You can come in and narrow it down to specific pages. Again, I've got my uh, done for you campaign pages in here. And again, these are just under testing. So there's not any data in here, but you can see um, you can do that. And you can also go down the bottom here and choose. Is it visitor data? You want to see goals data or revenue data. So you can see all that information there. So it's a really great way to review your pages and see which ones are, are, are working best. Under your My Forms section over here on the left side, you can actually go in and uh, create as many forms as you want. So uh, marketing forms or uh, you know email lists, signups, opt-in forms, anything that you might want to create um, for forms for your different pages. And then you can just drop those on your pages anywhere you'd like. Um, you can see here, you can also just get the code if you want to just stick one of these forms in um, any kind of an email marketing program or again if you're using something uh, maybe like WordPress uh, for your website you could actually um, or have an existing website that's built on WordPress you could actually come in here and get some of this code and use it in a lot of uh, different form tools and things that are out there um, that you that you might be using perhaps you're using like something like Thrive Leads um, and you've already got your site set up you could just come in and grab this form code and it'll work with any form tool that uses uh, HTML. So that's really cool. And you can also just use the JavaScript here 
And then that way, if you edit your forms here inside of Kartra and, you, and you're using that JavaScript, you'll never have to worry about the forms. They'll automatically update anywhere out on the web that they're being loaded using that JavaScript. So that's another great way to do it. And again, analytics. You know, this Kartra is fantastic with its analytics and it really provides you a, a very nice view of um, exactly what's happening with each thing that you're doing in here. So you've noticed it um, through this review and at each one of these sections that I've gone through um, has its own analytics. So you, again here, these are form analytics. You get to see um, you know, what uh, your, your forms are doing and how much um, they're working and how many subscribers you're getting and things of that nature from each of your uh, forms. So it's real, super powerful, give you a nice insight on what forms are bringing you the most subscribers. In this area under my memberships here on the left side, you can actually create different memberships. And so you can create, um, you know, member areas for your content. And I, I went ahead and I created um, a uh, specific one here, just kind of a, a demo one. And we can go and, and look here at the the page the login page um, if we want but uh, you can see you can brand this however you want but you get your address you can see here mine's chrisbigelow.carter.com but you can have whatever address that you want to use when you sign up and uh, you're, you'll have a nice members area where you can actually um, you know allow people to um, s you could sell your products and and services here on um, Kartra and then have people log into a membership area so you don't need to have a third-party tool to do that um, and you can see here I can log in and, and view the this is just a demo area that I put together but you can see you can do uh, here's a free training and then some premium training you can see this little lock versus this is unlocked so you can actually provide um, upsells in here. It's really cool. You can create content, and then if somebody doesn't have access to it, you can actually show them a message, um, you know, based on the fact that they don't have access to it. So, really cool stuff. Um, and you can you can see here if they click on support, you can actually do a uh, help desk, so that you can see when I was in here, this has logged me in as a demo user, and I click on this support, and it's actually allowing me to open a help desk which is shows my tickets and different things uh, based on my account here and you can see here people can just fill this form out create a ticket and then that comes right into your Kartra and lets you support your uh, members right inside of Kartra so we'll get to that section here in just a minute but um, you can create your your different member areas and, and allow people to um, be supported from inside of Kartra and it's kind of all in one so you know exactly who they are, what they've bought and everything when they come in and request support. Um, editing the members area, there's actually like a builder. Go in here and just show you really quickly. I won't get into it in detail but um, you'll see once this opens so you can go ahead and name it here and Kartra is really s simple in the fact that every th all the screens are the same it's always the save and next and it just walks you through each um, step so if you've ever used like webinar jam or you're familiar with webinar jam if you're not it's a fantastic tool you should check it out it's it's made by Genesis the same guys that make Kartra um, but uh, and they, they make some really great stuff and they're and they have a really good um, way of simplifying their tools their tools all have this very simplistic kind of save and next save and next is very simple the user interface is fantastic so i'd highly recommend any other stuff but um anyways so here in the content section you can see we're editing one of the memberships so if i go into this builder you'll see this is the member error we, we were just looking at right so you can come in and you can just um you know like if i wanted to put a banner here on the sidebar of my membership site and i could just put in a phony baloney address and you know pick an image from from my computer um, I think this is a picture of my puppy Milo so I'll just go ahead and put that up there and so I could make a banner and I could just put it in there it's just really simple how how things work so let's just go ahead and do that oh that's that's just an animated gif of a dog like my dog <laughs> so anyways uh, you get an idea but you can come in here you can create banners you could you could put link that out. I just linked it to, you know, uh, a phony address, but I could edit that and I could put 
uh, you know, Google or one of my other products that I that I have, um, my product pages, and I could link out to a sales page to get people to upgrade, you know, whatever I want to do. So you can add different uh, links and headlines and you know, new categories here for your for your training. So you could call this whatever you want to call it, and just add in different different features and and content to your members area. So it's really cool. Um, it's a really cool builder and, and very simple to use. So you can see that um, you can manage comments, turn off and on comments, access level. Um, so you can choose to enable comments or um, on the whole thing or certain posts, access levels. You turn on the help desk. This is where I was suggest uh, I mentioned the help desk when we were just looking at that demo. You could see when I click the the little uh, uh, ring there, the support icon. I I was able to open a support desk, so you can turn that on. Welcome messages. If you want to set up a welcome message when somebody signs up for that. Different automations. If you want to assign tags when they do certain things or subscribe them to a list, subscribe them to a sequence, or use any advanced automations based off membership, you can do that. So it's really cool, really, really powerful stuff. And uh, whoops, pop me back to my products there. Super powerful. So you can create as many memberships as you want and, and set that all up. So then also, in addition to that, you can create portals where you might have more than one membership in a, port, a portal. So um, you can look at the code here and just look. Um, let's see here. So you can see this is an example of a portal. And then this was the membership area that we were just playing with, that demo membership area. And this is just one membership of a, on a portal, right? So you can see here, um, if, if somebody was a member of multiple programs, so you had multiple programs that you wanted to, to market and, and have a landing page for, you can see that there's the ability here to just create what's called a portal and then you can assign as many products as you want to a portal and you can have as many portals as you want so really a cool uh, way to organize your membership contents whoops um, you can come here and um, host your or share your files so um, any of the files like maybe uh, you want to provide a download to some of your members uh, a, a worksheet or uh, maybe a PDF with some information, a zip file with some 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 documents or, or some images or things like that, templates. You can do that um, just by loading up your files here, and then you can put them, access them in your members area and link them up in there. And again, more analytics. Um, you can see here we got now membership analytics. We can see exactly how many members we have and uh, our average retention time frames and and things of that nature. So we can see. Um, you know how our membership areas are performing. Um, videos. This is another super cool feature about Kartra, is that you can act, it'll actually host your videos. So you don't need to host. You know you don't have to get Wistia or you don't need to put your videos on YouTube or anything. You can actually host all your videos here. Now, obviously, if you're blogging and, and trying to grow your um, you know social. Uh, uh, marketing stuff then you, you might want to use YouTube for some of your uh, videos maybe if you have a blog you might want to use that um, you know to grow your 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 uh, YouTube channel alongside your blog and your business here but what's really cool with as far as the membership content goes and things of that nature um, you can and, and you could also do your blog if you chose to you can you can host all your videos here right in Kartra so there's no need to have a external video uh, service you can just come in here and load videos up and the quality is actually really good um, I did a, a test video here and, and you can just kind of see um, it's a really really crystal clear this this video that I did what was uh, just from a webcam and it just loaded it up and it looks really nice it's super clear um, great great quality and there's ways to do like opt-in forms and lay uh, that lay over your videos um, a lot of a lot of really cool tools, and then you can just drop those videos anywhere you want on your pages or um, throughout your Kartra uh, membership site, things of that nature. You can see here you can create video playlists. I haven't created any yet. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you can come in and, and create playlists for your videos. So if you had like maybe a series of videos you want to present, you could. 
And again, more analytics, um, great analytics. You can see, um, as I was saying, there's calls to actions or, or opt-in forms you can lay over your video. So you can see how many calls to actions were completed. Um, and you can see the statistics on your watches, the average watch time, how many plays you've had, how many completes. Um, you can take, you know, add in which, whichever thing you want to see uh, for your vid visitors, uh, for, for your videos to watch. And then you can also see engagement, um, you know, how many people completed the calls to actions um, that were in your videos. So if you set up calls to action, you can see here, you've got the call to action statistic, and you can see how many people actually, um, you know, reacted to those calls to actions. So super cool having your videos in the same system and being able to have you know your watch statistics and seeing what videos are working the best and more importantly what videos are being watched and what aren't <laughs> what videos people don't care about <laughs> so that's really great um, again help desk this is a really cool feature that's um, part of Kartra very few tools out there have this kind of thing available so if you want to set up a help desk for your customers again you can create uh, multiple help desks so you can just come down here and create new help desk you can create as many as you want so um, you can have a place for if you have you know different memberships and, and you want to assign a different help desk to each member area you can do that um, this is just one I created for testing but you can see that you can come in here and you can just edit edit the the help desk and, and kind of walk through and you'll see it's very similar to all the other screens it's just step by step you go through customize save and next Departments, save a next wiki, save a next self billing, so you can actually um, create your your help desk just just how you like it. You can even put in um, you know typicals of the basic is support desk, and then you can also do phone support, live chat, and then there's Skype. So you can set up all these different support channels for your help desk. It's it's a really cool way to go. Um, you can set up a wiki so you can put in you know categories and and uh, information based on you know your different areas of your website um, if you want to set up a billing er um, support area or doc you know documents so for self-support that's what this is all about and so you can write documents and put those in um, for your customers to, to have so they can possibly help themselves before they reach out to you uh, for help so it's pretty cool set that up Self-billing, this is allows you to turn on um, the self-billing for people. So if they go to, to um, set up their um, get support, then they can actually look at their invoices or update their billing. And then see, let users request refunds, let users cancel subscriptions. So you can let them, con you can control what they're allowed to um, request or what they're allowed to control there in the help desk. So again, really, really cool stuff. So we'll just configure that later. And then automations, again, you can do a lot of the automations, capture help desk users into leads into certain uh, lists or whatever, uh, assign tags, subscribe to certain lists, and then subscribe to sequence. So if you turn someone into a, li a lead, you can assign them to a list, assign them to a sequence, assign a tag. It's really powerful stuff. So again, here's uh, everything's set on that once you're done you notice how it just kind of walks through those steps and then you've got your link here right to your help desk portal that you can put anywhere you want you can set up your signatures for support and you can create canned responses too so if you just want to have some um, pre pre-done responses that are typical questions a lot of people ask and you or you're you know just want to be able to answer stuff quickly you can do it that way super cool so then you can come in here and you can view tickets anytime a tickets opened by any of your customers you'll you'll see them here your canned responses you can come in and and uh, work on your canned responses and then here's your signatures so you can come in and create signatures for your different team members live live chat so this is where you can set up your your chat and you, your live chats would be available here if you turned on your live chats you can also have canned responses for your live chats and then introductions from the different people. So um, any any one of your team members that you have, you can set up a uh, introduction for them when they're a pre-done introduction. So when they join the live chat, it auto automatically says, hey, welcome to the live chat, I'm so-and-so, or whatever you might wanna do as your message. And again, lots of analytics. 
So you can actually come in here and, and see what's happening, how many support desks, how much customer satisfaction uh, you're, you're, you have um, based on your help desk or your live chat and uh, your, your different responses. You can allow people to rate those so you can get an idea of how, how quickly your response time is to your support and then which one of your team members are providing the best support and making people the most happy. And you can also see here down down here you can um, people can rate your uh, articles, so your wiki articles about your products and services. And then over here you can see which are the most popular keywords that people are uh, searching for in your help articles if they're doing that. So up here is a chat live chat versus tickets, so you can see your different um, statistics based based on whether you're looking for a report on tickets or live chat. Super cool stuff. So there's very little tool out, or very few tools um, out there that allow you to have a help desk built in like this. Most of the time you're gonna be using something like Zendesk or Help Scout or some other third party um, support ticket solution. Um, and uh, maybe if you're using WordPress, awesome support. You know, there's tons out there obviously, but this is really cool just to have, have it all in one. And then when somebody opens a ticket, you know exactly who they are because um, Kartra will show you their, uh, say how much they've purchased, um, what products they purchased, you know, and all their details. So really cool stuff. Moving along, we've got the My Integrations section. So this is where you would integrate uh, other services. So you can see you can use Authorize.net, PayPal, Stripe. Um, if you're running uh, uh, Braintree, you can use that for, for uh, payments, Digital Access Pass, um, different tools like that. And then if you're running a WordPress website, you can see you've got A member, S2 member, Optimize Press and uh, Wishlist member here. So you can, you can run a WordPress membership website and then you can do all your billing and, and management and marketing and things from here. So um, this will allow you to post your new members and stuff over. Um, it also uses Zapier so you can set up um, Zaps with uh, Zapier and, and connect just about any um, other cloud-based service or software as a service tool. And then you'll see there's various other um, email uh, services if you want to set up your own uh, email system instead of using Kartra does have a built-in um, SMTP server but if you want to set up some other service like uh, SendGrid for example you can do that and then you've got your um, SMS um, marketing tools that you can set up in here as well so um, it's pretty cool pretty pretty uh, um, detailed um, you know solution list here and, and integration list um, you can also run Kajabi too if you happen to be using Kajabi you can um, use Kartra and uh, along with Kajabi and then set up new members and, and people uh, for your Kajabi offers over there. So it's really good, good. and uh, there's an API as well. So if you're, if you got a little bit of programming chops, you can go ahead and set up um, the API and, and set up the keys and everything and, and uh, use that to um, integrate with your different services that you might build for your um, custom stuff that you're building. You can also do instant pay payment notifications for other uh, third-party services. So you can set those up as well. Last but not least, uh, there is a Kartra Academy that you can you get free access to as a, as a Kartra user. So you can come in and learn all about Kartra. And there's a ton of videos and training tutorials on everything you could want to know about uh, the Kartra system. And as they add new features, they add new videos in there. Um, and there's also... Um, an internal affiliate marketplace. So um, as a Kartra user, you get access to the affiliate marketplace. So um, you'll see here if I click on this, these are all other Kartra users and they these are all people that have Kartra accounts and they've created affiliate programs under their um, affiliate setup here in their in their Kartra. And then they've allowed other their Kart their Kartra affiliate program to be listed in this marketplace. So as someone that uses Kartra, and this might be, you know, Kartra's pretty badass. I mean, all to, you know, all said and done, it, it is an amazing tool, and I, I, I really have a lot of good things to say about it. Um, so this might be one of the most powerful features 
Um, you know, the help desk is really cool. The fact that it hosts videos, the fact that it, you can build your memberships in here, the fact that you can, it's got a page builder and a form builder and a campaign builder and, you know, all those things are awesome. But this is really powerful if you kind of think about the fact that you can access, you know, it, if Kartra has 100,000 users at some point, um, you know, I don't know how many of the users they have today. I'm, I'm sure it's quite a few um, thousands, but uh, as of this video, but you, you get access to this marketplace. So you could put your products up and then almost overnight, you've got a whole um, potential affiliate base just built right in. The only, the only other tool that I'm aware of in my experience that does something like this is um, ClickBank. And they've, done, they've been around for forever, but they don't, you know, you don't get provided any of this marketing stuff to speak of. It's very, very limited from my experience with it. Um, it could have changed by now, but I, from the last time I've looked at it, which was pretty recently, um, it didn't have any of this stuff. You'd have to build all this stuff yourself. And then you, they just basically do the cart stuff and they do have an affiliate marketplace like this. But um, this is super powerful stuff. There's, um, you know, act, you would act, be able to almost immediately get your um, products out and have other partners really quickly. So you can come in here and you can choose to um, try and, um, you know, join these programs if you'd like, or you can promote your program in here and you can see, um, you can choose different uh, categories here, which is what you could use to list your affiliate program as well. So this is, this might be one of the, the coolest features there is. Um, you can come in here and, and get your promotions for the different programs. So you can see, you know, you can click on each one of these and you can see what's been, uh, what you're promoting and, and your statistics for them. Uh, your tracking links, you can come in here and create specific tracking links for the, the uh, pr promotions that you're, the, the things you're promoting. So you can see, you know, again, what your ROI is. And, and if you were to, you know, maybe you have a big email list inside of here in Kartra and you come and send a, a promotion out for one of the affiliate programs you've joined from the marketplace, you could use one of these tracking links and track how much, how many sales you made from your, your uh, newsletter. So, or your broadcast, I should say. Um, so it's a really great way to, you know, again, track, track what's working and what's not. So you can come in here from your uh, um, analytics and you can get analytics on, on your affiliate sales. You can see um, what's happening and things that you've promoted um, ever, ever webinar. Um, that's one of the uh, webinar jam products. I was I was talking about webinar jam a little earlier in this review, and uh, ever webinar is one of their their the parts of webinar jam. So you can you can go ahead and promote um, that and is is one of the one of the marketplace. They're one of the marketplace uh, members, which you can sign up to promote ever webinar if you want. But you can see the you can get full affiliate sales statistics on what you're selling and referring people to. So you can look through here and see all the different ones. This is all just testing stuff, but you get the idea. Uh, JV broker sales, this is again, just more statistics on your um, sent, sending uh, other affiliates into the program and you know your uh, how many affiliates you've signed up and how many you can refer these uh, programs to people and then uh, get uh, commissions based on the activity of your affiliates. And then just some transactional data just kind of drills in a little bit on a little bit more about who bought and from where and, and all that kind of information. Their IP address, gross amount of the, of the purchase based on the things that you're working on and sell and promoting. So you can come in here last but not least and set up your payment this is this is for you as an affiliate you can come in and set up how you'd like to be paid um, you can see here i've set up paypal as a as a demo uh, tax documentation you can go ahead and complete your w-9 and submit that so you can actually ensure that you're um, going to get paid if you're in the u.s and, and you need to fill that out you go ahead and do that here um, you can verify all your information for for other affiliate programs to to have access to so they can contact you if need be if there's a problem and then your earnings, you can see, come in here and see your uh, different earnings and, and uh, when, when it's your payments due and how, how, when you were paid, things of that nature. So you can get a bunch of information on, on your actual earnings from the affiliate programs that you're a member of. Last but not least, 
I guess I already said that, but this is last, last, but not least. Um, there's some different things up here you can come in and, and uh, you know, you can access your dashboard and then your profile, you can come in and, and do your basic profile, your business logo, tax ID, you know, different information that you might want to uh, um, edit. Um, your team members, you can come in here and add different members and and uh for for your team that's going to be helping you run your kartra again this is another really cool feature a lot of um services they charge for users you know they'll charge you you know some services charge 50 bucks uh per user per month or 60 bucks per user per month other services charge um you know thousands uh, and there's another service out there i won't mention names but I believe they charge ten thousand dollars to join their partner program before you can even add any other team members to your site. So you have to you have to pay a ten thousand dollar fee before you can have um, you know other people that can come in and manage your account. So it's crazy stuff. So if you're looking for something that's cost effective um, and super powerful, that's another killer feature of Kartra. So as you can see, I'm adding them up. There are a lot of killer features. Um, your billing, so you can come in and, and change your billing account. Um, you can set your email notification preferences in here for what you want to get emails about. Um, and this is where you can come in and, and set up your custom domains. So if you have a domain that you want to set up and add um, you know, to your Kartra, you can come in and set your domains up. So you can just put in your domains and then you can assign those domains to different pages or membership areas so that they are branded um, as your business rather than using your, your Kartra address. Otherwise, it's just like mine, like I was saying, is chrisbigelow.kartra.com. So I could just use that or I could use my uh, chrisbigelow.com domain, for example, and then have all my pages loading under that. Uh, they've got GDPR stuff all set up. So if you know if you know much about uh, um, the privacy stuff over in Europe, you can, you can set all that up for um, your Kartra so you don't get in any trouble with your um uh with anybody in europe over over privacy stuff so you can set up your gdpr and make sure you've got your proper terms and clauses and your um you know your notices that that that's um for newsletter signups and uh terms and agreements for your gdpr compliance so all of that's really good stuff. Um, there's a couple other little things here. You get your support and alerts from Kartra when they when they uh, do a new feature that they'll there'll be an alert here and then and then you'll see right inside here there's a news tab and then you can see um, like I mentioned they just did this new self billing portal um, which is super cool and actually I was one of the people that that asked for that so they actually do things that people ask for which is pretty amazing too and quite quickly i think i think uh it's only been a couple of months since uh, a few few of us users um of kartra asked for that and that was just added pretty quickly i was i was really impressed with how quickly they got that up for everybody so anyways that's pretty much it in a nutshell um obviously i could go into more detail and i, I might down the road have a a, a full on training product that that does uh, more details on kartra but um, you know, I just wanted to do a review of Kartra, and if you're looking for a really affordable um, tool that you can start using and has basically everything that you need, including a help desk, including video hosting, including membership areas, um, and you know the other features that I just went over, this is a fantastic tool, and I cannot recommend it enough. It's super reliable. Um, not had any issues you know logging in and out or any of the pages and everything's worked that i've attempted to use in this demo and um, other accounts that i'm helping uh, people with we've had no issues it's been fantastic so i highly recommend uh, that you use kartra if you're interested in something like that and i'll include a link here with this video and if you go ahead and sign up um, for kartra uh, i will get a small uh, commission for referring you and i'd appreciate it if you'd let them know that i sent you and uh, tell them tell them Chris Bigelow sent you and and uh, I, I really think it's a fantastic tool so uh, hope hope this video was helpful in in showing you guys a little bit more about the tool and how it can help you in your business hey guys thanks so much for watching that Kartra review I hope Kartra helps you grow your business and gives you another possible tool in your arsenal for growing your online business and thanks so much for watching